Hello everyone. Today we are going to create this gorgeous anime t-shirt style in Marvelous Designer. If you miss a step or button that for your convenience the button and clicks pressed are on the bottom left of the screen. Now if you are wondering how to load this character inside Marvelous Designer then just follow the following steps. Just click on library, double click on avatar, from there choose stylized and over there is hana.avt. That's how you load the avatar. So now let's start. Select polygon. Now create roughly half a t-shirt. You don't have to be precise, but just imagine the position. That's it. Now select curvature tool. You can also press C and just tilt it a little bit. Now select the edit pattern tool or you can press Z also. Right click and unfold. Now to create the back side of the t-shirt, just select the transform tool, select the pattern, right click and copy and that's it, just paste it. You have created the back side of the t-shirt. You can use this pattern and place it on the back side of the body. You can note that the color is gray. Gray means that the normals are reversed. So you just place it and try to reverse the normal back again. Just select it and now right click, select flip normals and that's it. Now in the 2D window, press Z, select the points and just delete them. Now let's start sewing so that we can join the particles. Press N or segment sewing from the option, select the appropriate side in the studio window and join them. You can basically do that in the 3D window as you are comfortable. I'm doing it in the 2D view. You can do it in the 3D view as well. As soon as you join them, just see to it anything is not untangling it and untangle it and just press spacebar for the simulation to work on. In the simulation mode, you can just pull the parts of the fabric so that it is not you know, connecting with the geometry or something. You can pull out the parts so that it is not untangling with this geometry like this and this yep now you can press c for the curvature tool from the front view you can just select this line and pull it down do it the same way with the back as well select the line and pull it down a bit now press spacebar again this simulates it and go to the view and press the mesh option this shows the current density of the mesh right now it's quite low poly as you can see now in the 2d view select both and in the property window decrease from 20 to 5 this will increase the mesh the particle distance decreasing means the mesh will increase now in texture surface mode simulate it again and see the quality difference now you can see more smooth curves. You can see the quality of the cloth which has increased significantly. Now let's create the sleeves. We will select the rectangle tool and we will just roughly create a shape to match the size of the both curves of the shoulder. Right now the length is 106.1. We will check the length of the other curves. That is 99.4 and 99.4. So we can just resize the length of this one. And select right click and change length i will just add 198.7 instead of 198.8 if i do start one side will go on the right and then end one side will go on the left so it's better i will select the both option now we will create a center point so that we can put a proper curve for that select the line click split and now we will uniform split so that it is equally divided from the center this will help put a proper curve when we have to put this piece on the proper side. Now let's keep the sleeve on the proper place. For this we will open the arrangement points like this. Click on the pattern and click on the point. That's it. Let's close down the arrangement points again. Press arrangement points and it will turn off. You can try to place it little bit more correctly although it is already placed for us 
but still we can place it and we can try to sew it in the 3d window itself so select the line and here these two and just sew it the same way we will do it for the other if you are finding yourself with entangled sewing lines just edit swing and press right click and do reverse sewing and that's it it will be automatically fixed you can connect the other parts as well like this line and this line you can do it from the bottom also connect these two things and that's it now let's stimulate it press spacebar to simulate it sometimes it will act a little bit weird so you don't have to be worrying about it just try to pull it out because it is entangled with the geometry above so you can just pull it out and it will be fixed automatically next time it won't give you this kind of problem Now it's done. Now we can resize, make it smaller, and re-simulate it. You can just pull it out with your hand like this. It's entangling with any geometry. Deselect the pattern, and now in the properties, select the particle distance, decrease the size to five. This will increase the mesh density. You re-simulate it, and it will match the other part of a t-shirt. Now let's create the left sleeve, right click and symmetry pattern with zoom. You can zoom it and simulate it again like this. Now we can select the, these lines. You can also decrease the size to make it a proper crop top as we see in anime we'll keep on selecting these lines and also the lines of the sleeves right click offset as internal line it will ask you how much you want to offset just click by default 5 mm and ok now without deselecting them right click again and press cut and sew this will cut and now you have to sew them again and then simulate it again with the edges selected we can increase the size a bit to create a good finishing yep now let's focus on the neck for creating that we can select the rectangle tool make it roughly the size of the neck already we have created we can see the size from here we'll just press on the line it is 174.3 now we have to change the line of the rectangle we just created to select it and right click change length let's write 174.3 both sides in the same way you will do on the top one also 174.3 that's it we can see the length of the previous binding is 15 so we will just change these two I change length and adding 15 yep done You can also sew it now. You can press simulate to see how it is actually looking. Now half the side is done. To create the back side, again we will just click on transform, right click, this copy and same way paste. That's it. You can just drag it back to its place 
rotate it and clip the normals as well because right now the normals are on the opposite side. Clip normals, yes. Now we can resize this according to the back that is 108.9 for the top and the bottom one. That's it. You will place it and save it properly. You can do it in the 2D window also if they are interlinked or interchangeable. For easy use, use the 2D window. It's much more faster and simulate it. Now select both the patterns and change the particle distance to 5. This will create the mesh density the same as the previous. Now select all the patterns and change the thickness, collision and rendering to 1. That's it. Now if you want to view the thickness in the 3D window, just click on thick textured surface that's it and now you can see the actual rendering thickness of this t-shirt now let's add a fabric property select all the patterns select this and click on cotton 14 you can also change the color choose any color you want I'm just choosing royal blue that's it you can see the output please like subscribe and follow I will keep creating these videos thank you so much